I don't know, maybe it's time to throw the towel in. Perfect, what's going on with you, Bobby? Does it have anything to do, does it have anything to do with what's going on? Like, I know you, Pauline, being like a fighter inside and out. People expect you to win. Today I decided to do my skincare routine. Hi guys, Pauline here. So I decided to create this YouTube channel to share with you guys what I've been doing during this time. And also I have so much time so I can create these videos and show you guys. I also just wanted to create this virtual safe space to uplift each other during these hard times. So during this lockdown, I'm currently in Subic and so my family and I decided that it's safer that I stay here. So before the lockdown actually, I was in Manila, I was in my condo. I remember my coach canceling my Friday training because of all the COVID-19 uh, news. So my friends and I decided that it would be good for us to go to Subic. And then um, there was an announcement about the lockdown. So I spoke to my parents about it and we decided that it's safer for me to stay with my family friend's house until the lockdown is done and until it's safe enough to go back to Manila. Vanilla. So first thing I do when I wake up is have my cup of coffee. I woke up feeling kind of down mainly because I miss my family. I'm gonna FaceTime them in a few minutes. I just miss them so much. Hi mom, how are you? For Ateneo, I doubt they're gonna put anyone at risk. And yeah. I mean, everyone there, that they know what's happening. They're very, like, aware. Where's dad? <laughs> That's a cut. <laughs> You're cancelled. You're cancelled. <laughs> Crazy. So I just FaceTime my mom and instantly I'm in such a better mood as she's so funny. Like she finds a way to make me smile, to make me laugh and remind me how blessed we are and how great how grateful we should be. I miss you guys so much. You guys are so cute. So pretty. Bye you guys. I miss you so much. Wow. So pretty and handsome, I think. <laughs> okay, bye. Love you. So before my workout today, I'm gonna make a steamed veggies and omelet. This usually gets my energy up right before I work out and I feel so much better instead of eating something that has a lot of oil. So I'm gonna take you through what I do every day to gym, to work out, to do stuff, but we're gonna start with going to the gym and I'll show you guys. say 15 minutes to learn a tiktok dance and it's just so funny because it's so easy and i i can't memorize <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> here hey guys so today i've just been feeling a bit down and 
I just have a slight dilemma. You know, I just found out the Olympics has been postponed indefinitely and um, the Olympic qualifications, um, it's just been a crazy ride mainly because I don't know when I'm going to compete. Um, I decided that it's time I talk to my parents, my uh, coaches and my friends. I don't know, maybe it's time to throw the towel in, but um, we'll see. So, so I've just been feeling a little bit down. Um, well, I don't know, like, should I keep training? Like, how do I remain positive? Like, how can I look forward to tournaments when we don't have any? I wonder that I'm in a pretty, you know, we don't know. Home Akola, Home Akola, since there's no really tournament, I don't want it. I really don't want you to be training Home Akola, Home Akola. Hi coach. Hi, how are you? Hi, coach. Parang mag, nag, I'm feeling a little down. Si, wala na Olympics. Tapos, ayun, just feeling down, but patay nag the training, ganyan. Sabi ko sa iyo, uh, iba na yung already tayo, di ba? Kasi hindi natin masasabi yung panahon. A matter of months from now, possible na mayroong vaccine. And everything will be, ano, will be changed na naman, katulad before, di ba? So, kahit muna tayo ang Olympics this year, one percent a day na training mo, malaking bagay na yan. So, kung mawawala ka ng one week, so, ang malaking bagay na yan. So, ang malaking bagay na yan, di ba? Mali mo ito yung blessing sa inyo ni Lord para uh, makapagpahinga ka, di ba? Yung mga injuries mo gumaling, tapos next year tayo sa South Cup. Di ba? Hindi nice. yan good doon. Always keep on positive ka. Ang importante. Hello, sir. Hi, Pauline. So, um, can I, do you have a uh, free time right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So I've just been like going through, I don't know, do I keep going, do I keep training and yeah. well you know the Olympics, it's been postponed and I'm kind of just trying to process everything, I'm just really um, kind of losing motivation and inspiration. My advice for you is, you know, uh, continue to pursue your dream mm -hmm. because I think uh, you've really worked hard for it and, uh, and I think there's a lot of people especially Filipinos, especially young kids that has been following you and, you know, seeing you as a as their role model. There's a lot of people really rooting for you. Think about them every, uh, every time you feel down. And, you know, every time you feel that you're sad and, you know, there's like a dead end, you know, think of the people uh, that really cares for you and, you know, that, 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 really, that are really rooting for you to get that... Uh, that's Olympic uh, dream. You're right. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, Dad. So, you know, like, my Olympic dream, like, all these uncertainties, like, how could I keep going? Do I keep going? Or, like, throw the towel in my just... For one, we can, you know, we can only do so much as, like, you know, as far as, like, giving you advice. But then, at the end of the day, it's always you. It's yourself, right? It's your thinking, it's, it's your body. You know, your mom and I, we've actually discussed a lot about, you know, how to get up from failures and to keep going and, you know, to offer your tri triumphs and your experiences in life. I mean, you've gone this far for you to even think of, like, quitting. In times of, like, doubt, there's only one thing to do, like, you know, call him and like, look up and pray. Right? When you feel like really confused and you're getting all that anxiety, is when you just totally do a 360. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I can do this. I can, no, I can, I can face this head on. Does it have anything to do? Does it have anything to do with what's going on? I know you, Pauline. I mean, deep down, that's that's how we've known 
you being like a fighter inside and out. I don't know what's going on with you now. Please, we've talked about it for like a couple of times already that things like this, there's really no turning back. Yes, it's a workout, but also you get to just present, really, you know, listen to your breathing and, and just remember why you're so blessed. And it reminds me how grateful I am to be living the life that I have right now and how fortunate I am to be able to have a safe space. Sometimes when I'm really just sad or I'm missing my family, the thing that really helps me is Either I work out, I go for a long run, or just drive around, listen to good music. So it's honestly a big change from Subic to Manila because I got used to um, Subic and how there's not a lot of cars, it's not a hectic. But since I decided to move here, I have to adjust again. And right now I'm on my way to the training area that my manager has helped me um, set up. It's in Quezon City. And yes. So these are my maps. I usually set them up when I'm by the train and kick. And um, this is like my area that I've set up here and I'm literally the only one that trains here or I have just my coach and we make sure that it's safe for always wearing, if not our mask, face shield um, and I always ask them, you know, where have you guys been or they get swabbed to make sure that we're following safety protocols. and I stayed there for a couple of months but I decided um, during the GCQ to move back to Manila mainly because I wanted to get back into my hard training and I know there are still protocols we have to follow and I know we have to be safe but I also am not giving up on my training and keeping fit and healthy so I've set up here with my coach my own rack it's still in the works we still have plates intact I still have the plastic on my bench um, my mats are here my shield. Um, I think there's gonna be more stuff like my kettlebells and my dumbbells to come in but I have the skeleton set up so I'm really excited to start my hard training and to be in the best shape I can be and I know although it's you know that my next tournament is gonna be in a long time I still want to maintain my strength my body my physique and you know just keep my fighting spirit alive Okay, so the drill I did is basically this. So what happened is we're using bands for resistance so that we can like work on our stamina, strength, speed with the knees up, which we do in Taekwondo every time. So with Coach Elmer, training is really like hardcore and it's also smart work. So we're using this to train our bodies to get back into like real fighting shape. <laughs> Hello, Ma. Yeah, I actually just moved in to Quezon City, and at least it's closer to Lola, and you know they're watching out for me. So, um, yeah, I just want to say. Thank you so much, you know, for always supporting me regardless of my decision, so. Okay, so, I know I've just been having a rough time, but I feel like Taekwondo is what makes me happy, and, and I know you guys have your full support, but 
you know, I just feel like I needed to take some time apart, maybe just to think it through and and I know what makes me happy and that's me going back to trading. So if you ask me if I'm gonna quit and throw the towel in, well, my answer is hell no.